Uh, hello, welcome to this uh, short video about the Boomerang Taurus. Uh, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Colin Gontier. Um, I'm the owner of Boomerang Jets. Uh, absolutely anything flying or aviation related is my passion and Boomerang is my business. Uh, the reason for this video is um, it's just a bit of an impromptu, uh, out of the box um, uh, kit that we wanted to show you uh, for the Boomerang Taurus. Uh, it's one of the largest in our range, just about 2.3 uh, meters in wingspan, 160 size turbine. Uh, and what's um, interesting in, in the sort of RC model market these days is we obviously buy an awful lot on the internet. Um, if we haven't seen something down in the flying field that, uh, that we might like that, that somebody's got, um, when you're buying something blind, it's um, hopefully helpful to see what to expect from us as a company uh, and from this jet uh, for your money. Um, just to give a few more general spec details, <coughs> again as I said 2.3 odd meters span. Uh, the Taurus is a uh, composite uh, fuselage wing centre section, uh, composite booms uh, and then a built up uh, wing and tail section. Uh, what's kind of unique about the Taurus is, although this is covered with, uh, with aura cover, <coughs> it's also painted and lacquered, uh, which gives uh, an interesting finish, um, more towards a composite look if you like, uh, less prone to wrinkling or, 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 or things like that with the film. Moving on uh, to the booms, not an awful lot to say here, um, fiberglass construction again. Uh, Hardware kit. Uh, we've got sort of two sets of hardware. One, one is the the general hardware that comes with the kit, and the aluminium wing rods and servo covers and so on and so forth. Uh, this we supply as a separate bag for the Taurus, uh, and this is a, a Sullivan linkage set. Um, just an extra feature that we added with the Taurus. Um, nice uh, anodized um, fixings and um, uh, the the Sullivan clevises. Uh, just a quick look at the carbon tubes here. These are rolled carbon tubes. Um, obviously two of them in the Taurus just to keep things nice and strong. It's a bit of a, a workhorse. We expect it to be to be pushed hard. Um, and uh, this has worked well for us so far. We've never heard any stories of anything falling apart. Looking at the wings, not an awful lot to say. Um, pretty standard wing with our, with our boomerang wing section. Uh, holes for the two spars to go in. Uh, as I said, a lacquered finish over um, aura cover film uh, and paint. Uh, here, you can't really see this in the video, are openings for the servo covers which you uh, would cut open uh, and fit as appropriate. Tailplane much the same. Uh, Tailplane in the Taurus uh, has these two uh, tabs that go down into the boom which you then drill through uh, and, and add extra securing bolts. They're not actually 100% necessary but it's a belt and braces um, type of fixing that we feel comfortable with. Just show you that here. And those screws go through there, drill through the tab and, and screw through. That's in addition to the um, uh, four fixing bolts that go to on each boom left and right. Right, we're just going to move on uh, now into a slightly more detailed look at the construction of the fuselage of the Taurus. Uh, what we want to do here is, is show you really what to expect when, when you get a Taurus kit from us uh, and, and the standard of, of what should be inside here where you put all your expensive bits like turbine, power box, receivers and, and so on. Uh, as I mentioned, it's a uh, fiberglass composite construction uh, and on the inside is a uh, wooden former system. Uh, some of this is installed as the moulds go together and some of it is, is installed afterwards. Uh, but what I'll do is we'll just get the camera in a little bit closer and I'll show you roughly what we hope that you'll receive. Uh, this is the back end, basically where the turbine goes. You'll see some extra tabs um, here uh, where there's a, there's a legend saying cut there. Um, that's uh, these pieces are in there, um, one for, for transport reasons before the kit gets to you, but also as part of the manufacturing process uh, just to keep things uh, lined up and uh, there to sort of get yourself a good fit and finish. I'll just put this back on uh, and you 
basically looking for you know a decent fit and, and finish uh, on the outside as, as, as the hatch goes on. Right, and inside the for former system, uh, it says so in the instruction manual. I think uh, you know many of us who've been building any sort of remote control aircraft for any length of time uh, are well aware that we need to go through stuff, but I'll just mention it here as well. Uh, go and um, have a look at your glue joints, um, have a look for, for anything untoward. Uh, everything is QC'd, um, but it is QC'd at our factory in the Far East. We go to great lengths to, um, to ensure that everything's done to the best possible standard. But at the end of the day, when you get something out of the box, cast your eye over it. Um, this one looks uh, pretty good to me. Everything's glued in nicely. Um, can't see anything that, that needs attention, as it were. Uh, but run your hands across things and you know, just have a little look, see that everything's as you expect it. Uh, trying to get into the front end here. That's just some formers to support the air tanks, and then also get an equipment tray that goes over the top here. Another one of the tabs to cut out. Um, and I'll just hand the, the camera back there. So basically, hopefully that um, gives you an idea of what you should expect from the general construction of the aircraft. Um, consistency is uh, extremely important to us, um, and for the most part, we find that um, throughout everything we send out, uh, we've got a pretty consistent level of quality, and it is what we expect um, and our customers expect. Of course, if you receive something from us that doesn't meet, for example, the standards that I've shown you here, um, please get in touch. We want to hear from you. We want to know that we get lots and lots of emails and pictures of people showing us, you know, them enjoying their airplanes and how happy uh, they are to have a day out flying yet again, with whatever the wind conditions are. Um, and that's great. But we also want to hear if you're not happy with something. If you receive something from us and it doesn't meet your expectations, get a hold of us straight away. Um, it's very easy to do so. We've got obviously our website, um, email address which comes straight to me is store at boomerang-jets.com. There's telephone numbers um, as well. So pretty much um, uh, any way that you need to get in touch with us uh, you can do. Uh, we look forward to hearing from you. As I said, good or bad, we love seeing all the good pictures. But anything else you want to comment on, we want to hear from you. Um, and what we'll do now is move on to um, some other things to do with uh, the ELAN and some of the other quality control procedures that uh, that we look to achieve. We are here to um, an ELAN kit. Uh, <coughs> one of the latest sort of things we do in the factory uh, as part of our QC is um, uh, I insist that uh, when the kits are manufactured, um, each kit, although everything is jig built and everything should fit with everything, for example, if you were to buy spare parts, you'd expect your spare boom to fit your aircraft. And they do um, but just one extra thing uh, that we do to try and ensure the best experience if you like and, and no problems when, when a customer receives a kit uh, is at the factory uh, the each individual kit is put together with its individual components so we make sure that kit fits together and there should be no issues there uh, my system of proving this that the factory's done it uh, is to ask for a white tab I don't know if the camera can come in um, this is an assembled, well, it's a, it's a stuck together Elan, if you like, um, and this white tab goes across the uh, crucial parts, so the wing centre section, the boom, and the outer wing. This piece of paper is stuck across it uh, and is then sliced after uh, the model has been put together. And that shows us that that's been done, that's done on each side, and we know the tail's been put on as well. Uh, and for all intents and purposes, that kit should be as that. One other thing to point out with the Taurus kit is you get a choice of wing tips. Um, as you can see the, the, the wing is uh, effectively uh, blanked off towards the um, end of the section here uh, and I won't open these up but you basically get a, a set of round profile wing tips to finish off the wing uh, as a sort of normal wing would, would look if you like but you also get these tip tank sets so you can choose to have either or, or um, either or if you like. Um, they're easily removable so you can actually swap them at the field if you want to but it's just another little option uh, that gives you some choice and a little bit of change if you want to do something different. Uh, I must say on my particular Taurus models, I've had both and sometimes I change halfway through uh, a flying 
day or halfway through a flying season. It doesn't really change the flying characteristics much, it's just something different for them. Right, that's it for our little introduction uh, of the Boomerang Taurus. Uh, as I've said a couple of times, it's not meant to be a marketing video, it is just this is what comes out of the box and this is what, uh, what you should expect. It's nothing that we've put together as special, hopefully it's a bit of a warts and all. Um, we hope you, we, you like what you see. Um, if you're one of our customers already, thank you very much. Uh, we hope you're enjoying your boomerang. If you intend on being one of our customers, feel free to get in touch with any other questions you might have. Um, there's all sorts of factors to consider when, when buying any sort of model aircraft. Uh, you can contact us through our website. Uh, email is store at boomerang-jets.com. Um, there's other forms of contact, including telephone number on the website. 